Next thing we're talking about is scoring and slipping. Uh, normally I have some serrated ribs here you can use in class, but you're gonna be stuck at home building some pottery. How do you score and slip? Well, you can use a fork. All I do is I take rough up my areas. That's where I score it. Score the other side as well. I'm gonna join these two little balls of clay together. Now the cool part about clay right now, it's really soft and it's kind of sticky. So if we put these two together, it's gonna to stay together right now as we speak. But when this clay dries, it's gonna fall apart. You wanna make some uh, moisture in the clay to kind of help bind and hold the clay together. So like I said, you can make slip at home, but I just recommend using some wonderful distilled white vinegar. I poured some into a cup. I grab a brush. I apply it to the surface. I apply it to the surface. And then I kind of take the two pieces, press them together. Then I can take one of those little handy tools I made. I can go back in and kind of blend the pressed pieces together. And I have a little better of a, of, a, of a bind than I had if I did it. It's really hard to pull it apart. But basically what that, that vinegar does, it kind of makes all the clay that I kind of scratched up with this fork really all gooey and then it acts like a slip and then it presses it together. And that's how you score and slip at home with a fork, a vinegar, a brush, and it doesn't matter what kind of vinegar, be distilled white vinegar, be apple vinegar, it doesn't matter. It just kind of breaks down that clay body a little bit and gets you going.